All right, folks, we are uh, back here again uh, with some uh, BAFTA predictions this time. We got a little bit later than I expected here, but that's okay. Uh, let's see, we'll just kind of get started here and kind of throw out some stuff, because I think some of the categories for BAFTA this year are a little tough, kind of like the Oscars right now. A couple other ones, are, I think, are uh, are going to be some easy picks this year, so um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes down here, but uh, yeah, we'll start uh, from the bottom up uh, with the Rising Star Award, uh, voted on by the public here. And after the uh, Oscar snub, I think uh, Aquafina is is pretty set to uh, to take this one here. I I, I probably uh, would say she's yeah probably pretty far and ahead the one to win this one. Uh, let's see for the uh, visual effects category. Um, this one uh, BAFTA will go a little more blockbustery here than the Oscars do sometimes. Like they picked um, uh, Avengers last year. They picked um, or sorry not Avengers last year. Black Panther last year. I'm sorry. Uh, they've picked, you know, some more, again, some more of those, uh, traditional, you know, blockbuster picks there. So I think they'll go Avengers Endgame here. Uh, 1917, you know, if we, if it's really going to be, you know, like the favorite last year where it just wins award after award after award, you know, visual effects could go along for the ride, but, uh, I think, I think they'll pick something more effects heavy like, uh, Avengers Endgame. Uh, for the sound category, uh, this one's a really close call between 1917 and 4v Ferrari, but I think this is where the kind of... Um, you know, British factor of 1917 will help it, and I think it, it wins this category here. Um, makeup and hairstyling, uh, Bombshell I have picked here. Yeah, I just don't see them not picking that one. Uh, let's see here. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood I have winning for production design. Again, 1917 is really close here. It could, you know, again, if it is really on that um, sweep kind of factor there, it could it could take this one as well. But I'm, uh, I'm picking this one as, as well here at one... Uh, at the uh, Critics' Choice and stuff, and I have it winning at the Oscars, too. Uh, let's see, for costume design, I'm actually picking uh, Jojo Rabbit here. Um, again, this will be pretty much a three-way race between Jojo, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and Little Women. Um, and I think, uh, even though Jojo doesn't have the directing or uh, film nomination like Once Upon a Time in Hollywood does, I think they'll want to give Jojo something. So I have this, and actually I have another category for Jojo later on here, but... Um, yeah, Little Women will be close here as well, um, and yeah, Hollywood could also take this one. Um, and I'm kind of debating at, uh, at the Oscars, I said last time, I have, I've picked uh, Hollywood in the costume category as well. I'm kind of debating if I want to go JoJo there or back to Little Women, so yeah, I'm still kind of up in the air for the Oscars, at least for that category as well. Uh, let's see, for best score, I've got Joker picked out here. Again, 1917 with Thomas Newman has a good shot, but they've given, you know, several awards in the past here at BAFTA to Thomas Newman, uh, two wins, if I'm not mistaken, versus, you know, Hildor. This is her first nomination. I think she's, pre you know, and, and so much uh, buzz on that score. I, I just don't see her losing. Uh, let's see, for the film editing category, since uh, we don't have, like, Parasite here or 1917, anything like that, I think... Uh, I think it's Ford v. Ferrari uh, uh, to win here pretty easy. I think uh, Hollywood and The Irishman are close here, but uh, Ford v. Ferrari is my my pick. Uh, for cinematography, 1917 will definitely have this one. Yeah, no problem there. Uh, now, for the inaugural casting award, this one will be kind of interesting to see what kind of uh, uh, win this will be here. Uh, I think you really size this one up, really, I think, for me, between Marriage Story and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Um, I think the other films in the category are, you know, look, you know, good to be nominated, but, uh, yeah, it's probably these two. Uh, even though, uh, neither one won the SAG Ensemble Prize, you know, Parasite wasn't nominated in this category. Um, <clears throat> I think Hollywood is going to do so well, you know, Marriage Story, I think, did get a, you know, a few nominations here, but Hollywood, you know, got so much more. I think they'll, uh, they'll pick Once Upon a Time in Hollywood here, I think. Okay, for Best Documentary, I was originally going to go with Apollo 11 here, but then I looked at it again, and I'm like, wait a minute, you've got Fursama nominated here for Best British Film and for Best Foreign Language Film. So they, you know, that would stand a lot, so they got to give it something. So I'm like, yeah, I, I picked this one here for Fursama. It's also up at the Oscars. Um, American Factory could be an upset winner, because uh, I have that one picked at the Oscars. Well, if they're trying to predict the Oscars, sometimes they'll do that. But no, nah, I think they'll, they'll go Fursama here. Foreign Language Film, Parasite. Yep, moving on. Uh, animated feature. Uh, Toy Story 4, I think, and Klaus are the two that can win here. Uh, the other two, I think, again, happy to be nominated, but I don't I don't think they stand much of a chance. Um, and Toy Story 4 could easily just win this and then, you know, probably, you know, potentially set up something at the Oscars where it's like, yeah, it'll just be Toy Story 4. 
Uh, Klaus, in the meantime, I think uh, I do have that predicted to win here at BAFTA because of its anti win, because, you know, it seems to be uh, uh, right, you know, in the good spot there is when it picked up, you know, dropped on Netflix. Everybody kind of saw it and. Um, yeah, so I think, uh, I think BAFTA will, will go for it, but, uh, I could be wrong. It could be Toy Story 4 there. Okay, getting into the screenplay categories, original, or, sorry, adapted screenplay first. Uh, this is where I actually do have Jojo Rabbit winning here. Um, and Greta Gerwig definitely has a very good shot here with Little Women, but, uh, BAFTA recently at the, uh, um, in this category, they've kind of gone over the eventual, uh, screenplay winners at the Oscars in the same category. Like, they picked Theory of Everything over um, The Imitation Game. They picked Lion over um, uh, what would be the equivalent at the Oscars of uh, Moonlight. But um, it won over, you know, everybody else in that category because Moonlight was original at BAFTA that year. Uh, they picked Philomena over 12 Years a Slave. They picked uh, Silver Linings Playbook over Argo. And they picked Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy over... Oh, shit, who won that year at the Oscars? Was that um, The Descendants, I believe? Um, so, yeah, I do have, uh, yeah, JoJo here over Little Women, and that could be another example there. And it's it's a quirkier script, and sometimes, as we've seen here, a couple of these examples, like Philomena, definitely kind of feels a little more in that wheelhouse, even though Philomena was definitely much more of a drama than I would say JoJo is. But they're, you know, they both have that kind of side where they can be funny, but they'll, they'll both be dramatic as well. Uh, Silver Lining, similar deal. Um... Yeah, so, you know, I, I think, uh, and they picked, like, The Favorite last year, which was kind of a quirky, a quirky script as well, an original screenplay. So, um, yeah, I do have JoJo winning here at uh, BAFTA. For original screenplay, I am actually going against uh, the odds here a little bit, and I'm picking Parasite. Um, again, kind of quirkier script here. Uh, I think Hollywood, you know, could win this one, and it could actually do much better at BAFTA than we're expecting it to do. Uh, but I, I think they'll go Parasite here, uh, just kind of on a whim, really, because I think Hollywood will have, you know, supporting actor, it'll probably have a couple of those categories we talked about earlier, it might be an upset win and go, and they might pick it for film, you never know, uh, but yeah, I, I think Bong Joon-ho, uh, they'll want to give him something else besides foreign language, I feel. Now, I could be wrong, obviously, they didn't do that at the, uh, the Globes, I didn't have it picked for screenplay, but, um, uh, but I had him picked for a director there instead. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how this one goes down. But I have Parasite and an upset there. Uh, supporting actress is Laura Dern for Marriage Story. Supporting actor, uh, Brad Pitt for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Lead actress, Renee Zellweger for Judy. And lead actor, I have Adam, no, I'm kidding. Adam, or uh, not Adam Driver, uh, Joaquin Phoenix for Joker. Yeah, I think these, these four are set. Yeah, I don't think anything's going to stray from that. Uh, for director, I've got Sam Mendes here as well. Remember, uh, he does have, as we talked about a couple times here, an IOU from BAFTA for not getting a directing win for American Beauty. Uh, since then, I believe he has not been nominated at the BAFTAs in this category. So, um, so yeah, this would be a good chance to uh, award him here. Plus, you know, uh, Bong Joon-ho, again, uh, is a close competitor here. But I think, you know, a Parasite, you know, didn't really get any, you know, after it landed, you know, director, film, and, you know, all that stuff, it didn't really, it didn't have any tech category support, like no editing, cinematography, even production design, you know, like it got at the Oscars, so, um, I think, yeah, something like a screenplay is more possible, but director, I would say, no, this is probably Sam Mendes, you know, uh, high and above, I would say, in this category. Let's see, for best British film, I'm going with a safe bet here in 1917, they could go something... If they want to save uh, 1917 for best film, like Rocket Man or Two Popes, but I just don't, I just don't think there's enough overall popularity for those two films. Um, you know, and Three Billboards, of course, you know, won this category and best film a couple of years ago, so they don't really have a, a problem with that. So I do have also 1917 winning for best film. But again, this is going to be a close one because Parasite maybe does have an, a, a shot here at film. They did pick Roma last year, so it's not unprecedented for them to pick uh, foreign language films to win. They've gone with 400 blows in the past and stuff like that. So it's not totally, you know, uh, random if it does win here. Uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood also, I think, will, again, as we talked about, rack up a good number of wins here. I think it has, uh, I have it down for three, three categories, if I remember right. Supporting Actor... Uh, casting and um, uh, production design. So those three. And it, yeah, it could end up taking film and screenplay along for the right original screenplay, that is. So uh, yeah, so again, I think 1917 is kind of the top choice here. I have it winning, yeah, uh, film, British film, director, uh, sound, cinematography. Uh, I think those five, I think. 
yeah, so it'll, uh, otherwise, you know, it is in contention in a few other categories, and it's very close, probably the first or second choice for uh, several other categories. So the big question, though, of course, as we kind of talked about in the last video was, okay, how much do we want to follow BAFTA this year? Because, you know, do we, you know, if we follow them like we did last year, we might just fall off a cliff like we did with Roma, because uh, they picked it for uh, for film. Um so, you know, it's like that, or do we, you know, kind of be a little more optimistic about something like uh, Parasite if it wins here? Uh, because remember, uh, another thing, too, is that BAFTA has not picked Best Film and it hasn't lined up with Best Picture in six years. You have to go back to 12 Years a Slave. Since then, they've gotten Boyhood wrong, they've gotten Revenant wrong, they've gotten La La Land wrong, they've gotten uh, Three Billboards wrong, and last year they got Roma wrong. So it's it's been a while. So if they pick 1917... Does that further encourage me to keep with my uh, Hollywood prediction at the Oscars, or do I go more Parasite? Yeah, that's a that's a tough call, but um, yeah, well, and yeah, I'll just kind of see overall just how the awards go too. Um, if we do see a bunch of upsets all over the place, if 1917 just absolutely sweeps like the favorite did again, that could be a a, a mis misreading there uh, going into the Oscars. Um, but it is, after all, also, uh, one thing I don't think I uh, point out enough in the video last time was that it is a shortened season this year, so that gives less time for films like 1917 or Parasite, you know, Hollywood, even, you know, you could go across the board there, for all those films that are going to have a last-minute controversy or last-minute, you know, people coming back and saying, oh, it shouldn't have gotten this many nominations, you know, like a La La Land effect, kind of, more or less. Um, so, yeah, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see how BAFTA does here. Um I, I feel like I'm picking most of the safe choices with a few, you know, upsets here and there. But, uh, yeah, other than that, uh, BAFTAs are tomorrow. Uh, I'll do a, a follow-up video either tomorrow night or uh, first thing Monday. We'll we'll see how it goes and stuff. You know, of course, we've got Super Bowl the same day. So uh, I, I love to watch for commercials and stuff. So, yep, otherwise, I'll keep an eye on BAFTAs uh, tomorrow, and uh, we will uh, catch you guys later on.